Hello viewers, welcome back to the AI and DS channel. This is Roshan Sarek Matthew and in this video tutorial, we are going to look at how to create a deadline tracker in Excel. I will also show two different methods to do the same. Which method do you think would be more useful to you? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's dive right in. Let's say you are a project manager in a facilities management company who wants to keep the track of different deadlines for equipment maintenance and inspection in order for everything to function smoothly. Now, you will have the inspection date for each equipment, but wouldn't it be great if you could also see the number of days remaining so that you can plan ahead? Let's see how to do that. So as you can see, we have the list of equipments here along with the inspection date. Now let's add the due date for each equipment. To do this, let's enter a formula in the cell for due date. So the formula will be inspection date minus today. and we'll just copy paste across the other cells. So since this basically uses a number of days, let's change the format to numbers. In format cells, number. So now we have the deadline in number of days for each maintenance task. To take it a step further, let's add some visual indicators using icon sets. To do that, we can go to Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets, and Indicators. Then again, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules to change the rules as required. So let's select the rule, Edit Rule, and here we need to change it from Percentage to Number. Now let's set the warning for anything within 30 days. So green when value is greater than 30 days and yellow when it is less than 30 and more than 0 days and red when it is overdue. OK. Click apply and then OK. So now everything about 30 days will be green color and within 30 days will be yellow and the tasks which have passed the date will show as red. So this is one method of creating a deadline tracker in Excel. Now let's look at the second method. To do this, let's first calculate the due date by subtracting it from today's date. Now just like before, let's copy paste it down across the different cells. Now instead of just applying conditional formatting, let's apply formatting to these cells by right clicking on the selected cells, go to format cells and go to custom and let's add in a custom format. And then let's click OK. So this gives us a deadline in different formats such as the number of days remaining, when it is overdue and how many days overdue the task has become. And there you have it. It gives you a status of the different deadlines. Which of these methods would you be using? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to check out my channel for more amazing content. See you in the next video.